Hey everybody, it's Mrs. Ross and William. And we are here today with another video about the human body. So this is the last one we're going to do for a while. We'll probably do some more later on. But um, so we've looked at our stomach. We've looked at our small intestine, which we found out last week was not so small. So we will link both of those videos in the description down below. But remember to subscribe so you don't miss any of the videos. So today we're going to make a set of lungs. So we took a pop bottle and we cut off the bottom of the pop bottle. This is basically going to be our body. Okay, so we're going to imagine this is the top half of our body. Um, I have, before we started filming, I took the lid and put a hole in it. I just used a knife. You could use um, sharp scissors, but just do that carefully because it is, it is pretty, um, you don't want to slip with the knife. Um, and then I took a thicker straw. So we actually used a McDonald's straw because they're nice and thick. And I put two thinner straws up inside of it. Okay, so the way that you're going to test this is you're going to blow through here and if you can feel air coming out both sides, then you know it's good. Like nothing's squeezed too tight inside. So William, do you want to do a test there? Mm -hmm. Put that in your mouth and then you can put your hands up there and see. Can you feel air coming out of both? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> He's got air. So um, this is going to be your... So this would be where your mouth would be, right? Where your air comes in, uh, mouth and nose. And then this is your trachea, goes down trachea. your throat. <laughs> so trachea is a bottle cap, there's a bottle cap. It's, that's right, you have a bottle cap inside of you. Not really. Um, and then that goes down to your lungs eventually. Learn new stuff every day on this channel. So for our lungs, we're actually gonna use balloons, okay? Because they inflate. Um, so we just cut the the end off of the balloon and we're just going to tie it around the two straws. So one for each straw. Oh, you're trying to blow the balloons off? Uh, I, don't know, I, just, I don't know, I just realized that now. <laughs> and I've been, I'm behind the scenes on all these videos and I just realized this now. <laughs> I am smart. Okay. So we're gonna oh, put we're this. The, whatever it's called off. No, not the. We're gonna put this up here. Uh, oh, then we're gonna I put this. Just, oh, down there we here. are. It's going back there on. Know, it's going, going back on. It. You love to see it. She never took it off. Maybe it's going back on. Is it going away? Yeah, look at that. Lots of space. There you go. Right. We have assembled our lungs. So remember, this is where your mouth would be, your mouth and nose, where your air is coming in. So if you take a deep breath and your lungs fill up with air, they get bigger, right? And if you let it out, your lungs get smaller. So William's gonna blow some air into these lungs and can you show us on the camera what's happening? What's happening, can you tell us? <laughs> His mouth is currently occupied, but uh, so when he blows, the air fills up his lungs, right? And so what happens if you stop blowing? The air goes out, right? So um, separating your stomach and your lungs, there are some, some things, but one of the big things is your diaphragm. So your diaphragm actually helps you breathing, helps you with your breathing. And uh, <laughs> and if you are a singer, if you or if you've ever been in a choir or anything like that, you're you're always going to want to pay attention to your diaphragm because it helps the amount of air that comes into your lungs and helps you sing better. Mm. Um, so for our diaphragm, Tasty. <laughs> we are going to add a balloon to the bottom of the bottle. So we've cut off the bottom of the bottle. And we're gonna put a balloon in there What's for the our diaphragm. That? Well, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you in a minute. So can you hold on to that upside down so I can put this on? No. <laughs> okay, now this, we're gonna try, we don't know if it's gonna work or not. Um, we're gonna just gently pull the balloon at the bottom. 
I'm gonna switch the yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna switch the camera angle so we can see it then. Okay, so basically what happens is your diaphragm, as it goes up and down, because it's a muscle, so as it tightens and relaxes, it forces the air in and out of your lungs, so it helps your lungs going. So you you couldn't see that just now, but William's mouth was nowhere near the top of the bottle, so that was just him pulling on the diaphragm um, and letting the air go in and out of his lungs. So if you wanted to do this at home, you could totally um, do it as just the air coming in and out of your nose and mouth and blow it. And I'm actually going to get William to do one close up of that just before we go to see our lungs in action. So can you uh, so give us a blow on that? And we'll watch the diaphragm too. <laughs> okay, so there you have it. Maybe tape your diaphragm. <laughs> but look at those lungs. I think that's a really good, um, good demonstration of what happens to air in your lungs. So William's going to go try to keep some air in his own lungs. And we hope you subscribe for more shenanigans next Friday and a book chat on Monday. Thanks for watching, everybody.